What's up? What's up? What's up? Of course, it's me, your boy, Richie Rich, at Consumer Power Support. Shoot another awesome video, because that's what we do. Man, what's up? What's up? What's up? You know Consumer Power Support, we review appliances. Today, of course, we're going to focus on a front load washing machine made by Electrolux. All right, so before we do that, of course, you already know, man, this portion of the video, we're going to focus on the functions and the features. All right, so let's break down this appliance a little bit down for us so that we'll know exactly what it is that we're getting. Just going to pause it right there real quick so that we can gather ourselves and get some notes when we're talking about this appliance here. A couple things, of course, in the user guide that we're going to talk about. Um, we go to the table of context just to say finding information. Please read and save these guidelines. Table of context is broken down to define information, safety, features, operating instructions, controls and settings, stain removal guide, care and cleaning solutions to common inquiries. And of course, before calling and you have your warranty information as well. Always remember to put your uh, model and serial number. You can label it and put it inside the owner's manual as well. All right, we always talk about each and every week, talking about the safety instructions when we're dealing with this appliance or any appliances at all. We want to make sure that you read the safety instructions, all right? Um, risk of fire, prevent fire, stuff like that. Um, protect children, warnings, all that stuff is inside the owner's manual, so you can always pause it. Prevent injury and damage to the washer. Depending on the, the chemicals that are being mixed and all that stuff, you want to think about that. But this is just a, a simple breakdown of the appliance, all the parts and components. You have your cycle selector starting here. You have your display LED, laundry products and dispenser, reversible door for the 4, 5 or 600 series model only, door strike. You have your door stand uh, ventilation, inner glass with smart article redistribution ramp, wide angle door hinge, flexible door gasket. Stainless steel wash drum, adjustable leveling legs, door latch with safety lock, um, cascading wash veins, serial and model numbers right here as well. So that's one of the things you can look for. And of course, your control lock. All right. Depending on the series, it says not all cycles options are featured listed are available in every model. All right. This is referred to the table below for an overview of features available for each model series. So it all depends on the series that you have. All right, so you have a 300 series, a 400 series, a 500 series, and a 600 series as well. All right, so it tells you what the features are there. Full descriptions are available. Um, settings and options can be found in the following sections and all that type of stuff as well. All right, so this is where we are, where we're looking at the control panel. So we can allow the video to roll for a little bit so that we can see that. And we can get into the appliance. That's one of the things you want to focus on. You can get this appliance in multiple colors as well. Um, right now, we're looking at the control panel for this particular series. And then, of course, we're going to break it down. And we're going to stop it right about there so that we can see all the functions, all the features. Um, if you look at it, it says stain treat cycles. You have your whitey, whitest, the whitest whites, heavy duty. You have your normal, active wear, colors, towels, 15 minutes fast wash delicates rinse and spin and of course you have your clean washer you have the temperature for sanitized hot warm cool eco cold you also have solid soil heavy normal light extra light for the soil option and of course you have your spin options for the max high medium low no spin then of course you have your stain treat two pure rinse these are different options perfect steam allergen extended fresh delay time control lock um, you also have your select or deselect it says hold um, select three seconds to mute or unmute and of course you have your start um, cancel and your pause button as well um, your power button is all the way here and of course this is your display that you see here and then it has the warranty logo there all right to let you know it has a 10-year warranty on certain parts so we'll get into that as well all right so the series that we have of course is the 600 series that deal with the 15 minute fast wash all right so that's the one that we have so we already broke down as far as the control panel everything that comes with it we're going to go into a lot of the operations um for the control panel as well so we don't want to miss that so i've got to slide into a couple of these pages so go all the way to page 16 because that's the model that we have here which is the 15 um, slash fast so let's talk about that it says these temperatures 
spin speed, soil levels, and options are available with the following cycles. All right, so we talked about that as well. All right, so yes, it has the 15 wash. I just want to make sure and confirm it. Um, there we go. Um, cycle options, um, heavy duty, white on whites, normal, active colors, um, delicates, 15 minute fast wash, rinse and spin, and clear wash. Um, depending on the temperature setting, you can use the sanitizer and the heavy duty, white on whites, and normals. Hot, you can use it on the same features, heavy duty, white on whites, and normal. Warm, you can use it for all the cycles except for the rinse and spin. For the cold, excuse me, you can use it for all of the features as far as the temperature except for the rinse and spin. And for the tap cold, you can use it for all the functions and features except for the 15 minute fast wash. All right, when you're dealing with soil, because it's breaking it down to tell you what's best, solids, uh, solid soils, max, heavy, normal, and light, depending on the cycle that you have selected, some of these might be already preset, so you want to keep, keep in mind and understand that, how that works. It says no options, as I'm looking here. It says no options available with this cycle. Um, do not load any items in drum during system clean cycle. All right, so that's just telling you that. All right, when you're dealing with the spin, um, you have your max spin, high, medium, low, and no spin. Depending on the setting that you choose, you can make that adjustment there as well. You have different options when you talk about stain soak, perfect steam, rinse extra, um, wrinkle release, extended fresh, delay time, press and hold time, control lock, and pods. All right, so of course the check means available selections. Um, you do have factory presets, all right? So when we're looking at a lot of the gray shaded here, and it means non-modifiable presets. So some of these presets you cannot change. Of course, some of them are factory setting and some you can change um, for whatever is best for you. All right, so let's talk about controls and settings. So let's get into this real quick. It says press the power button to turn on the unit. We know that. Then turn the cycle selector in either direction to, or press the cycle buttons. Um, dependent on model. To scroll to the desired cycle, the indicator light for the cycle will be illuminated. All right, the estimated cycle time will appear on the LED display and indicator lights adjacent to the default settings. Water temperature, final sp spin speed, and soil level. And it says will illuminate for the cycle selected. See washer settings chart for default setting for each cycle. All right, it says cycle settings and cycle options can be changed using the temperature, spin, and soil buttons. All right, it says see cycle settings and cycle options for detailed directions and descriptions of available settings. All right, so it says to change the cycle, once the cycle has begun, press press cancel select a new cycle and press start again all right note turning the cycle select the knob without canceling the first cycle will not change the setting to stop the cycle press cancel all right for best results follow the fabrics care label instructions on items to be washed all right so that's pretty cool there heavy wash use the cycle for heavier soil durable garments um, example towels sports gear or fabric tote bags for best soil and stain removal use the hottest water safe for the fabrics being washed the whiter whites the whitest whites on select models use the cycle for white fabrics and lightly colored clothing refer to fabric care label for use of liquid clorox bleach all right so we got normal it says use this load for light to normally Soil cottons, linens, towels, shirts, jeans, and mixed loads. Active wear on select models. Use this cycle for lightweight synthetic um, athletic appear, apparel. All right, so we understand that as well when you're dealing with the athletic wear. That's good there. For colors, on some models, use this cycle for lightning soiled, dark, or highly dyed fabrics, which may be susceptible to dye loss. All right, so you want to do that. We also have 20 minute fast wash, depending on the series that we have. We have the 600 series, so if you wanna look at each individual one, you can, but we are gonna focus on the 15 fast wash. It says quickly wash a small, lightly soil load in 15 minutes. All right, and of course you have using pods. Setting may increase fast wash time by several minutes. All right, so if you're using pods in comparison to, I'm assuming using liquid or powder. All right, delicates. Use the cycle for lightly soiled knits and delicates 
which require gentle washing. Rinse and spin. It says select rinse and spin for the loads that need a cold water rinse or to add fabric softener that may have been omitted in a regular cycle. Add the fabric softener to the dispenser compartment. Select the spin speed appropriate for the load. Note, for spin only cycle, deselect extra rinse. For dry only, for drain only, select no spin. All right, so if you wanna do either one of those, that's how you would actually do it. See cycle options for rinse options and cycle setting for spin setting. Clean wash, all right, it's important that you also remember you wanna clean your washing machine. To clean and refresh the washer, perform the clean washer cycle. If you wish to begin the cycle, empty the drum, add bleach, and press start slash pause. This maintenance cycle removes residue that may cause odor. So see inside routine cleaning preventive or detailed instructions as well. Cycle setting, washing temperature. All right, it says the appropriate washing temperature will automatically be indicated for the cycle selected. To change the preset temperature, press the temp button to scroll to the desired setting. Select a wash water temperature according to the fiber content color, fastness, and soil level. For best results, follow the fabric care label and instructions with items to be washed, all right? Then of course you have your controls and settings to protect your fabrics. Not all temperatures are available with every cycle. If a temperature is not appropriate for the cycle, it cannot be selected. It will not be lit by pressing temp button. The temperature selected for the cycle will be remembered and recalled each time that cycle is selected in the future. All wash water temperatures are automatically regard regulated to maximize detergent effectiveness and improve washing performance. The water heating se setting and its dis distance from the washer water use usage in other parts of the home. And seasonally low ground water temperature in some geographic areas can affect water temperature. All right, so you have your sanitize on some models, so we can talk about that as well. It says use the sanitize setting to clean and sanitize heavenly soiled color fast fabrics, including towels, bedding, cloth, 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 diapers, and children's clothing. It is recommended that you set your water heater to 120 degrees Fahrenheit, that's pretty normal, or higher to ensure proper performance during this cycle. If the setting is lower or the load is extra large, the cycle time may be extended. All right, this is when using with the heavy duty and whitest whites cycles, the sanitized setting will kill 99.9% .9 of bacteria with no carryover of bacteria between loads. No bleach or harsh chemicals are needed, but higher temperatures are required. Please check fabric care labels to prevent damage. All right, note the heavy duty and white on whites with sanitized settings have been designed to meet the requirements of the NSF P172 protocol for san sanitization. Um, is that effectacy? Yeah, all right, so that's cool. There, uh, the washer water, the wash water is heated by an internal boost heater to a maximum of 150 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's normally why it takes so long when you're operating and using your machine on these different settings because it has to heat the water up to a certain amount of temperature in order for it to advance. All right, so you wanna keep in mind is that. Um, 150 degrees Fahrenheit as the load tumbles. Cold water is added to cool down the load prior to drain and spin. As a precaution, the washer door remains locked when the water temperature reaches 130 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, so you wanna think about that. If the wash cycle is paused or canceled while the internal drum temperature is above 130 degrees, the door will remain locked until it cools. You may manually perform a rinse and spin cycle to cool the internal temperature sooner. All right, when you're talking about hot, use the setting for heavily soil white or color fast cottons and blends. Warm. Use the setting for normally soil white or color fast cottons or blends. That's for the warm. For cold, some warm water will automatically blend with cold tap supply to achieve a precise cold. Use the setting for lightly soiled non color fast item knits, delicates, and hand washables. Tap cold on select models. Wash and rinse temperatures are equivalent to temperature of cold tap supply. 
Use this selection for fabrics and colors that are prone to dye transfer. For use with cold water HE detergents. All right, we talk about that too. Note, the washer will always use a small amount of hot water to dissolve the pack when the pods option has been selected. Adjust the wash time based on soil level of each soil, soil solid soil on selected models max or select models heavy normal light and extra light when some model soil levels are available all right um let's talk about controls I'm still on control settings talking about the uh, spin speed max on select models high medium and low on some models spin speeds are available for each cycle the spin speed and or duration of final spin vary from model to model and cycle to cycle. Increasing the spin speed will extract more water, dec uh, decrease um, drying time and conserve energy. Decreasing the spin speed will reduce wrinkling. Select low spin speed on some models to gently spin items that should be line dry. Use no spin to admit the final spin at the end of the cycle. The load will be very wet. Remove items from the wash drum to drip dry or exceed a spin only cycle to remove excess water at a more convenient time. Cycle options. The default options for each cycle will automatically be chosen when a cycle is selected. To protect fab fabrics, not all options are available. For all cycles, if an option is not available for a cycle, the indicator will not light. All right. Select option. Let's just press the option button to scroll through the option until the indicator light for the desired option flashes. Then press select. The indicator light is illuminated when the option has been selected. Follow the same steps to deselect an option. The indicator light will turn off when the option is deselected. All right, so you have the option and of course you have the deselected there. Notes, if changes to the settings or options are, are attempted after the cycle starts, you will hear several beeps when the buttons are pressed. To change the settings or options, press start slash pause, make the new selection and press start slash pause again. All right, all settings or options selected for cycles Except sanitize on, on select models, perfect steam on some on select models, and stain treatment options will be remembered and recalled each time um, that cycle is selected in the future. To turn to factory settings, press and hold soil and option buttons at the same time and hold for three seconds until the confirmation signal sounds to prevent unintentional and accidental exposure of delicate materials to excess heat or unexpected steam the sanitized perfect steam and all steams treatment options will need to be selected each time all right so that's where we are steam treatment options your washer is equipped with powerful stain treatment tools depending on your model use of the option below to deal with tough stains on your garment see step five in operating your washer all right, so it all depends on which one we have. We have the 600 series. It's in the stain, so you can actually see it. I'm going to pause it, but we're not going to really read into it because we're working on the 600 series that we have here. Stain soak. 600 series washer, similar to the stain treat 2, above with the added feature of detergent and treatment mixing with Smart Boost. Pump technology before the stain washing phase. Perfect steam on select models. Select this option to add approximately 20 minutes of tumbling in steam. Steam may not necessarily be visible inside drum during a steam wash cycle. Steam may be present during an entire steam wash cycle. All right. All right. So we also have your delay, wash time. So again, you can look at these important. If steam is selected, rinse temperature will be elevated. If the wash cycle is paused or canceled during a steam cycle, the door will remain locked until it cools down. So we talk about that. It actually um, locks at 130 degrees. It says you may manually perform the rinse and speed cycle to cool the internal temperature sooner. During a steam cycle, steam um, existing from the rear vent of the washer is normal and not cause for alarm. All right, so we think about that. Wash cycle option, extra rinse. Use this option when additional rinsing is desired to remove excess dirt and detergent. It is re recommended for heavily soiled loads or if household members have sensitive skin. Wrinkle release. After the final spin, the washer will perform a dry 
agitation to loosen the garments from the side of the drum. Extended fresh when select models. Select extended refresh if you will be unable to remove the load right after the cycle is completed. The washer recognizes the load has sat too long and will do a rinse and spin to keep the load fresh for up to 12 hours. All right, so that's pretty cool there. That's different. All right, so when you are ready to remove the load during the extended refresh segment, you must press cancel to end the cycle and open the door. All right, so one of the features that I really wanted to get into is the pods that it says here. It says select this option when using a detergent pack in a model equipped with a pods button on select dispenser only. This option will divert the flow of water to the detergent pack compartment, optimizing the detergent pack performance. All right. Control lock, of course, option. You can lock the controls between cycles. Scroll to the control lock option and press select. The control lock icon will show LED display. And of course, that's the symbol for the lock as well. So you want to be able to use that. All right. And we like the delay start. Delay time is use delay time to delay the start of the wash and cycle from 30 minutes to 12 hours. After selecting the delay time option, press select button to scroll to the desired delay. Delay time icon will illuminate on the LED display to indicate the display time option is activated. The time will begin counting down on the LED display once the washer start slash pause button has been pressed. All right, then of course you have your chime, select with sound at the end of each cycle and periodically during extended refresh to mute or unmute the button. And this is where we're saying here at the options, you'll hold it for about three seconds to mute or unmute, it all is all up to you. Then of course you have your other features, your LED icons may vary according to the model. Um, you have the estimated total time will be displayed when the cycle is selected. The time may increase if the water um, if the water pressure is low, so that's what we talked about there. All right, um, over sudden occurs if the load becomes unbalanced. An approximate time remaining will be displayed during the cycle as the washer progresses through the cycle phases. The row of cycle phase indicator lights up under the cycle time. The eco control lock close door mute on some models and delay time will also appear on this display. All right, so man, then you also have your eco eco indicator. So we can talk about that a little bit. The eco uh, symbol will light up on the LED display to indicate that um, the selected combination of temperature, spin speed, and options are eco friendly. Over such protection, a situation with over sudden has been detected by the washer will result in the washer requiring additional rinses until the suds have been cleared. Each extra rinse the washer performs to clear the suds will add approximately five minutes to the cycle duration. The LED will display SU followed by DS and then the remaining cycle time zero minutes for 60 seconds and then repeat. Press, press the cancel to turn off the alert message. The washer will continue to perform rinse cycles until suds are removed. So a lot of these machines been doing this for a while. It's nothing new or unique um, to the Electrolux model. Some of them do have the suds feature where you see suds in the display. And the machine is going to try several times to really try to get the suds out before it actually gives you the cold. Um, the cold nowadays is like the last last resort where it's like we've tried everything or the machine think it's tried everything and of course it cannot get the suds out so it's going to give you a suds code all right reverse hose detection all right so your machine also will let you know um, about your hose being in the reverse order all right i don't know any appliance that has that feature this is different, this is unique, but this is gonna help a lot of the surface technician as well. If condition is detected where the inlet hoses have been installed incorrectly, hot supply to cold inlet and cold supply to hot inlet, the water, uh, the washer will alert you, the LED will display HO, followed by SE, and then the remaining cycle time zero minutes or 60 seconds, and then repeat. All right, so that's letting you know that as well. All right, so you have a drum light, we already know about that. All right, so you have that button you can press there. Um, reversible door, the wheel washer will be equipped with a reversible door. The door can be hinged on the right or the left side. Man, this is a huge convenience to a lot of customers out there that have their laundry room in a certain area. 
So sometimes they don't want both doors opening at the same time or they want to open in different it all depends on how you want it but there's certain times where you want the door to be reversed because it's going to be to your benefit so i've seen the need for it to have the reversible doors because it is a benefit to it um the door stand ventilation all right help prevent odor buildup and residue humidity between washers by utilizing your washer's door stand ventilation feature open the door locate the stand below the door latch and rotate the stand counterclockwise to unlock it all right this is if available to rotate the stand by hand a coin or flat blade screwdriver can be used all right so here it is right here you can see it here the stand is spring loaded and will extend rotated clockwise to lock it in the extended position all right and this is how it's teaching you there to dis, uh, disengage the stand, rotate the unlock, push the stand in and rotate to lock position. If door stand will not turn to lock position, finally turn it to unlock position and try to lock again. All right, so that's where we are as far as that, man. So we're gonna dive into the remaining portion of this joint so we can dissect this machine because there is a lot to it that we gotta get to. All right, so let's get it. All right, so we're gonna let that joint rock for a second and go down. Now we're gonna focus on the soap dispenser. All right, so one of the great things about the soap dispenser, you can see where it says liquid bleach, fabric softener. You do have your max line here. You also have this feature. It says remove for powder detergent. This is your liquid detergent, right? You also have your Max 2. This is where your pods go in. And you also have your Select Stain, Soak, and um, Treat option. All right, so you do have that there. So you'll press that button, pull the unit out. You can actually pull the whole entire dispenser out. You can also clean it out as well. That's a benefit to it. You can see inside of there, and that's why we like to get some of the information. So I'm just going to pause it there and dive into the dispenser portion of this uh owner's manual man so we can talk about it it's a lot to it for the soap dispenser man so they're giving you a lot of information on it so we just want to make sure that we get into that operating instructions adding laundry products laundry product dispenser um, we got the 600 series so let's get into that all right we talked about all the liquid powder liquid and powder the pods and all that stuff so let's dive into some of what it's talking about Detergent stain treatment on select models, liquid Clorox bleach and liquid fabric softener will be dispensed at the proper times in the cycle. Use the cap or scoop provided by the detergent manufacturer to measure the amount recommended. Detergent disposal may need to be adjusted for water temperature, water hardness, load size and soil level. For best result, use a low sudsing, high efficiency detergent. Again, it has to have the logo that you see here on the newer appliances. All right. Detergent to prevent over sudsing and front load wash machines. Look for this symbol on the detergent label. All right, so that's what we talked about. Important, open and close the dispenser drawer slowly. Closing the drawer too quickly could result in early dispensing of bleach or fabric softener. All right, so they're really sensitive. So do what they ask you to do. Make your job that much easier, man. So, all right, let's see what else we got in here. Add in detergent to the three compartment dispenser, liquid or powder detergent. Use the cap or scoop provided by the detergent to add recommended amount of detergent. Amount of detergent may need to be adjusted for water temperature, water hardness, load size, soil level, follow manufacturer's instruction. In a three compartment dispenser use, either liquid or powder detergent, do not mix both. Important, do not mix liquids and powder. Important again, do not exceed max fill line. All right, so you want to make sure of that another instruction um, do not add detergent packs into the three compartment dispenser. All right, detergent packs should be added directly into the drum. All right, caution keep detergent packs away from children. All right, so you want to be safe with that. All right, let's get some more information here. Adding laundry detergent to the additive dispenser. Liquid detergent. Use the cap like we discussed before. The scoop prevented the amount of the body of detergent to add recommended amount. So we read that when we're dealing with the liquid on the other side. Pull directly into the detergent cap, not over the blue cover. Okay, so you want to make sure. Amount of detergent may need to be adjusted for water temperature, water hardness, and load size. Follow manual Follow manufacturer's instructions. Important, pour liquid into the liquid detergent cup. 
Do not pour over the blue cover. Not do not exceed the max for line. So that's really important that you do these things according to what is being recommended. Powder detergent. Remove the uh, liquid detergent cap and blue cover before adding powder detergent. Add powder detergent directly to the powder detergent compartment. All right. So each compartment has where it's supposed to be, where it's labeled, and how much is supposed to be in here. Save the liquid detergent cup and blue cover for future use. Do not discard it while you are using powder detergent. Do not exceed max fill line. All right. So we did a lot of that. Um, detergent packs for 300, 400 series. For 500 and 600 series models, and that's the models that we're going to get into. Add the recommended quantity of one or two high efficiency detergent packs to the detergent pack compartment in dispenser. Do not place more than two packs into the dispenser. All right, so that's the max. That's the most. When using the fast wash cycle, only use detergent pack should be used. All right, so you want to make sure you use it according to the manufacturer's um, description or what they feel is best for the appliance because they're the ones that's creating or they made the appliance. Um, I probably would have just went ahead and just used regular detergent or either one just to put it in 15, but it's probably not enough time, right? So if you're using the 15 seconds or the fast wash cycle, it's probably not enough time for it to dissolve. So it's best to probably not put it in there. All right, so that's good. Caution, use detergent packs away from children. Important, when using the, deper the detergent pack compartment, make sure to select the pods option before starting the load. And that's another thing that you gotta think about as well. Select the pod options. Once the pods option has been chosen, the washer will retain the pod setting until manually changed. All right, the washer will always use a small amount of hot water to dissolve the pack when the pods option has been selected. All right, note, from time to time, you may see water in the dispenser. This is part of the normal operation of the washer. Adding other wash products, color safe, bleach, water conditioner, detergent booster, um, enzyme products may be added with detergent. All right, so you wanna be careful with that. Put liquid products in the main wash, liquid detergent compartment, or powder products in the main wash, um, powder detergent compartment. Important, do not mix liquids and powder. Stain treatment on select models. For heavier soil or stain loads, select the stain option or select models only. All right, stay treatment, stay treat, stay treat, stain treat and stain treat two or stain soak and add recommended amount of detergent or stain treatment to stain soak slash treat compartment. All right, important, use of multiple products, detergent plus softener, sheets or color absorbing sheets not recommended. They could um, disable your machine and result in unwarranted repair costs, all right? Liquid, chlor uh, uh, liquid Clorox bleach is desired. Add Clorox bleach to the compartment labeled liquid bleach and marked with this symbol, all right? So you wanna see that. Do not, of course, use the max. Add color safe bleach with detergent, all right, important. To prevent fabric damage, do not overfill the liquid bleach compartment or pour bleach directly into the load. All right, so you wanna be careful. If desired, pour the recommended amount of liquid fabric softener into the compartment label fabric softener and mark with this symbol. Do not fill above the max fill line. Note, to prevent staining, do not overfill fabric softener compartment or pour liquid fabric softener directly on wash loads. Use of use of fabric softener dispensing ball is not recommended in front load washes. All right, so a lot of information here when we're dealing with the soap dispenser man. Again, we can go back a little bit so that you can actually see it because it's 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 really good, really really different from any other appliance out there with the soap dispenser man. Um, got the pod setting that you can actually use. That's different. No one really has that, not on the front load wash machine. I've seen something similar on the, um, the top loaders, but not on the front loaders. All right, so inside of the machine, we open up the door. And of course, you can see the inner drum, 4.5 cubic feet. When we're talking about the interior of the machine there, you do have the baffles that you can use there. That's the sign right there as well. You can see that. So we can allow it to rotate a little bit. Um, you can see inside of the machine with the baffles that rotates the clothes. And then of course you do have your door boot seal and your gasket as well. All right, so 
Normally you'll get to pull on it, clean on it, so you wanna make sure you do that as often as you can. Use um, a lots of water, a little bit of liquid Clorox bleach just to mix it. And then of course you wanna rub against it and clean it as well. So we're gonna allow it to rock for a little bit because we got a couple more things that we gotta discuss just to wrap up the functions and features here. So I'm just gonna stop in there and dive into where it says stain removals. Um, hoping we were able to give all the information as much as we can depending on the model that you have the great thing about this it does have a lot of the functions and features inside of it so that's what we like um, inside the functions and features it has both models in it all right that you have the 300 the 400 the 500 or the 600 series all right um, adhesive tape gum rubber cement all right it's for the stain it's just for treatment apply ice scrape off ex excess Place stain down on paper towels, saturated with pre-washed stain removal or non-flavorable dry cleaning fluid. If you got baby formula or dairy products or eggs, use product containing enzymes to pre-treat pre pre or soak um, stains. All right, beverages, it teaches you how to do that. If you're dealing with blood, rinse with cold water. All right, um, candle, wax or crayons, scrape off surface wax, place stain face down between Paper towels pressed with warm iron until wax is absorbed. Replace paper towels um, frequently. All right, chocolate. It teaches you how to do and get rid of all these different stains. So I just wanted to have that there because it's in. It's located in Orange Manor, man. So I can continue to keep going on and on about a lot of the stuff. So I would rather just let you see it. You pause it. Take the time to read it if you want to get into it as well. But the machine, the owner's manual, is extremely fully. Um, detailed on helping you trying to um, learn how to use the appliance as well care and cleaning inside routine cleaning all right to refresh or clean inside of washer to clean and refresh the washer perform the clean washer cycle for best results perform the cycle once a month so yeah i would recommend doing it once a month man because that's basically how it is or it says note every 50 cycles your washer will remind you to perform the clean washing cycle by illuminating the clean washer cycle indicator. To begin the cycle, select the clean washer cycle. If installed, remove the liquid detergent cup from the dispenser. Remove all items from wash drum before filling the detergent compartment with one cup of liquid, Clorox bleach, or one pouch of Tide washing machine cleaner. Do not use both. Press start slash pause to begin. All right. Um, important items left in washer while performing the clean wash cycle will cause a severe out of balance situation that could damage the wash machine. All right, so you want to be careful with that. So, like we told you that before, cleaning out this soap dispenser, taking it apart, all that is located in the owner's manual and it teaches you how to do that. We showed you how to remove it in the video, right? So, then, like I said, taking it apart, cleaning it. Um, you can use inside the, where the water comes in, inside the dispenser housing. Right, they're using a small toothbrush there that you can clean. You can see where it is here. It tells you how to do it and take it apart. Really good information how to do that as well. Breaking down the soap dispenser. All right. Um, cleaning procedure, washer drum. All right, you do have the clean cycle. Ensure that the washer tub is empty. We talk about that. Open the detergent drawer and pour eight cups of bleach into the main wash detergent compartment. Select clean wash cycle as described previously in inside routine cleaning all right so you can use the cleaner or you can use bleach right so whatever is best for you all right so that's cool important always wear rubber or latex gloves protect floor and clothing from damage because of course you're using bleach bleach is extremely strong all right so some of the stuff we just routine cleaning winterizing the instructions so i just want to make sure we go through everything that we possibly can again all this is located in the owner's manual you want to make sure that your hoses replace hoses every five years because they do get old, they do rust, and it can create the unit, it causes the unit to leak. All right. Then, of course, you have solutions to common inquiries, certain noises, drain holes, door lock. So, all the noises that try to help you out and let you know exactly how it's supposed to sound, how it's supposed to feel, all of that is included. All right. So, ah, man, this is good. Solutions to common inquiries, common washing inquiries blue stains discoloration so your machine breaks all that down owner's manual breaks all that down really don't have to really go into all this i'm just scrolling just to try to 
see what we can find and of course you have your preventive maintenance there so we're gonna let this rock for a second but man we're coming too closely like to the end of this product man of course you have your reversible door so you can switch it around all you would like um let me go back a little bit so you can actually see that um this is where the um the venting is for so your machine can vent out properly all right here you go using the screwdriver to turn it so you can lock it that's it that's the symbol there that you can look for so that you can allow your machine to be vented all right so of course you already know who i am man i'm your boy richie rich be wrapping up at consumer prime support man getting it in man with this electrolux washing machine we are out of here bro peace all right so for this portion of the video we're going to focus on the price how much it's going to cost you might cost you a little might cost you a lot either way it's going to cost you man let's get it man let's talk about it right now man so we're talking about that 4.5 cubic feet front load wash machine lux care wash perfect steam in titanium all right so you can get it in titanium and you can get it in white as well all right so right now we're on the home depot website you're looking at an original price of $11.99, saving you $120, which is about 10%. So you're getting it right now for $10.79. All right. A couple things that we always um, try to stress to you guys every time we shoot a video. One, price is subject to change. So you never know. The price may go back to original or they might give you an additional discount depending on the time of the year as well. Two. Um, availability when you're looking into looking for a particular appliance there's times when the appliance is not going to be available depending on what area you're in depending on which store you go to so you also want to make sure you shop around as well all right but for the titanium from looking at this particular unit getting a little bit more picture of how it looks um, online you're talking about 1079 from Home Depot so let's go to the Electrolux website Electrolux is going to be a little bit more expensive. All right, so this gives us a breakdown of the appliance, all the functions, all the features there as well. But when you're looking at the price for this particular unit for the titanium, it's $13.99. That's the price that you're going to spend um, on, on the Electrolux website. All right, let's go for the white. Let's see what the white has. All right, I also got to go back to Home Depot to get the white as well. But you're looking at $12.49. All right, so it's an additional 50 bucks if you want the white or the titanium, it's up to you. But that's the price or the going rate for the Electrolux front load washing machine right now at the Electrolux website. But I do want to go back to Home Depot real quick. Go back just to see what we have in the different colors and the price because it's white. So let's look at it. You're saving um, a couple hundred, uh, probably about a hundred bucks, if that. Um, it's nine eighty nine. Originally, it's ten ninety nine. So they're giving you ten percent off, which is saving you a hundred and ten bucks. All right. So it's different in color. So it's going to be a lot cheaper. White is a lot cheaper. It's a more traditional color compared to the titanium. That's going to be a little bit different. All right. Let's go to Best Buy. See what the price is right now for the titanium. All right. You're looking at the unit and it's a stackable unit as well so if you decide that you want to get both the washer and the dryer you can stack them up together but originally you're looking at 1079.99 depending on where you are it's on back order so i just want to load this up depending on how fast everything is um you're looking at 1079 for the titanium right um no um um, open box or scratching dents or anything like that we like looking at the machine so that you'll be able to see it take the time so you know exactly what it looks like as well and you can check out the intro video that we did as well to this particular appliance let's go to the white the white you're looking at 989.99 right so that's a lot that's cheaper like i said probably about 100 bucks cheaper um, so if you're looking at the price, I would get it from Best Buy instead of getting, of course, from Electrolux because they're just way too expensive. But the white is the same exact thing. So you're looking at $9.89. So either way, whatever, whether if it's the white or the titanium, you're looking to spend at least $1,000 for this unit. So I'll say between $1,000 and $200, bucks, probably factoring $1,200. Um, $1,000 and $1,200 factoring um, uh, 
taxes and everything else that comes with it as well um, you're looking at a thousand to twelve hundred bucks to purchase this particular plant but you already know man we got a lot of work to still do man so we can dissect this appliance man and we out of here peace all right so for this portion of video we're going to focus on the warranty 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 the manufacturer warranty all right so let's dive into the manufacturer warranty for this electrolux wash machine all right so let's go to the user carrying guide because sometimes it might be a little bit different um, dealing with this appliance so 51 let's get into this unit all the way down man just bear with your boy we're gonna rock with it so we can get this warranty stuff done so that we'll know what they're offering when you purchase this front load wash machine all right so let's dive into the warranty it says for the applicable warranty period <laughs> As set forth below as measured from your original date of purchase, Electrolux will repair or replace any parts of this appliance that prove to be defective in materials or workmanship when such appliance is installed. Use and maintain in accordance with the provided instructions. Warranty periods, all parts, one year including labor. In addition, your appliance is covered by a one year parts only limited warranty. All right, so let me slow that down for a second. One year including labor, all right? You're also getting an additional year appliances covered by a one year parts only. All right, limited warranty. It says during the second year from your original date of purchase, Electrolux will pay for parts needed for this appliance that have uh, been proven to be defective in materials or workmanship when your appliance is installed, used, and maintained in accordance with the provided instructions. All right, so for the first year, you're going to get your standard one year warranty, both parts and labor. They're also adding a second year warranty on it that just covers just the parts. Of course, you'll have to pay for the labor yourself. It all depends on the company that comes up. Right now, with everything the way things are, prices are changing. So some companies might charge you $150 in labor. They might charge you $200 or $175 in labor. It all depends on the company that comes out. Either way, they're saving you some money depending on the part that you need. It also has in, um, an inner wash tub or washer functional life of the product excluding labor. So your inner tub, the stainless steel drum that you put your clothes in, that normally cracks or breaks. So if you happen to need that tub, they're covering that part and not the labor for the lifetime of the machine. All right, so that's pretty good. You're also getting a wash and tub drive motor. All right, that's 10 year, non-cosmetic defects, 10 year excluding labor. All right, so they're giving you for the drive motor, which is the motor that rotates the unit, that's a 10 year for the part not the labor and non-cosmetic defect 10 years excluding labor as well so with this particular warranty that you're getting from electrolux right now i can say possibly this is probably the best warranty i've seen on a washing machine that you don't have to purchase any extended warranty for you could if you like but in this case you're getting a lot from the manufacturer here one the one year manufacturer warranty two a second year warranty just on the part you're getting a lifetime warranty on in a drum you're also getting a uh, a 10 year warranty only the part for the inner drum both parts and wash drum parts as well cosmetic defects just a part for 10 years as well that's really really good all right exclusions of course this is stuff that is not being covered by the warranty the warranty does not cover the following products with original serial numbers that have been removed altered or cannot be readily determined all right so you want to keep that in mind product that has been transferred from its original owner to another party or removed out, or removed outside the US or Canada rust on the interior or exterior of the unit products purchased as is are not covered by this warranty products used in a commercial setting all right so of course you can read all this information if you want we're not going to get too much into it this is just the warranty portion of the, of the unit and of course this is going to factor in in our grade but right now man this is like the best warranty we've seen on any appliance, especially getting this fully loaded. I would say for a wash machine, you're getting a lot. We love it. All right, so great job on that, Electrolux. And of course, that will reflect in the grade that we give this particular machine. But of course, you want if you want to contact uh, Electrolux, you can email them, call them, um, write them a letter, however you want to get in contact with them. You have uh, so many ways and so many options you can choose from. But outside of that, man, this is it, man. We're going back up to the top. This is the warranty. Uh, portion of the video and we are out of here man 
Peace. All right, so for this portion of the video, we're gonna focus on the parts. Man, how much is it gonna cost you to repair this particular washing machine? For example, of course, our labor is 150 bucks. If we happen to need an additional helper, we're gonna charge you $60. So the labor could be roughly added up to about 210 bucks. And of course, we're gonna factor in the price of the part with a slight markup. All right, so right now we're gonna use a website, a local parts store that we normally go to when we're purchasing parts. We're gonna use Tribbles. Um, that's one of the um, the website that we use here. As you can see, they have multiple amount of a uh, different appliance brands that you can use as um, parts they um, actually service or have parts for um, that you can choose from as well. So we're gonna load into this joint man and get into this Electrolux and see what are some of the prices that they might have. First, we're gonna dive into the control panel. All right, so I'm trying to let the picture get a little bit bigger so that we can see that. You're talking about the dispenser as well, right? So this is the whole entire dispenser. You can get it in different pieces. You also have the water valve here or the solenoids that allow water to come in, the hot water side or the cold water side. Um, you also have the, the panel. That's the front panel. You have the USB control board here, user interface board. You had your timer there with the knob um, that you're allowed to communicate with the unit. Uh, the knob assembly that's going to cost you some money so we're going to break down some of these parts you can see here um, so let's go over this break this down a little bit so when we're talking about this particular appliance the first one is number one so we just got to find that real quick here is the uh, board assembly you're looking at 162 dollars and 33 cents all right so that's pretty affordable when you're talking about the about the user in the fourth phase board not a common issue to go bad but it can just like any other control board but if you happen to need that part we're going to say it's about 200 bucks labor 150 you're talking about 350 dollars if you happen to need the knob assembly complete with boards and don't forget um they do have a one-year manufacturer warranty and a two-year manufacturer warranty on the parts. So if this part was to go bad, as long as it's within the two years, then Electrolux slash Frigidaire is gonna cover it. They're, like, they're the same brand. All right, so you wanna keep that in mind. The knob assembly complete with boards, that's 134.66. If you have an issues where you're trying to turn the knob and it's not really turning, the dials are not um, registering and they're not moving simultaneously as you turn the knob you want to think about that as well but if you happen to need that 134.66 again we'll round it up to about $200 labor 150 you're talking about 350 bucks all right if you happen to need that um, number 17 this is the Frigidaire washer sensor switch 3936 really affordable part there um, I'm trying to find it on here on the diagram number 17. Okay, so it's right up here. That's what you see there. Um, not a not a common issue, but you happen to need one. You can see that it's cheap, 39, 36, not that expensive. All right, so we got the main control assembly high, which is the washer with housing 128. Again, another control that you might need. So you're talking about 200 labor 150. You're talking about 350 bucks. All right, so let's keep this thing going man so we got the console assembly that's number 27 all right that's the console in front not a common issue but it does deteriorate so if you happen to need it for cosmetic uses then of course that's what it is but it's it's not a common issue not a common issue clamps cable um here's the water valve assembly frigidaire water inlet if you happen to need that it comes as an assembly common issue as well so if you happen to need this part 150 for the part labor 150 you're talking about 300 bucks all right um clamp housing damper dispenser so it's broken down into different different ones so number 45 is like the base of the dispenser right just to draw assembly 72 22 cup assembly dispenser with liquid cover that's 82 20 so it's not that expensive if you happen to need it but like we stated before you can take it apart you can clean it right normally they don't go bad unless it has a punctured hole in it something like that whatever would cause it to leak but you know just clean it up you know and once you do that you should be absolutely fine all right so we're going to dive into the cabinet slash top so we can see exactly what else we can find in this appliance so when you're talking about the door here, all these different things, I'm gonna just 
click on the image there all right so you'll be able to see exactly the door front panel the door here with the glass the top panel there as well um, here's another motor control board so that's a part of that as well so that's that's going to cost you some money so when you're dealing with these appliances man they be having a lot of stuff inside of it all right so let's see what else the main control which is number four right that's the main control there another main control number four right there you're talking about let's see what the price is for that 175 so me rounding that up to about 200 is really being generous so i'll say it's about 250 labor 150 so you're talking about three four hundred bucks for that all right so those controls can get expensive we already talked about two or three other boards prior to that and then of course you got the main so it's like four or five boards in here so that's what makes the appliance so much so expensive all right glass door number 11 if you need a glass door that's right here 74 73 not a common issue man they don't break don't damage um frame door inner yeah there could be an issue with the inner door because it's plastic it wears down not a common issue though but if you happen to need a 150 labor 150 you're talking about 300 bucks all right so that's what it has a striker there bam you can see that um panel side titanium top panel all right, that's 23 and 24. That's the panels on the side. You don't really need those. I've never had to replace the panel like that. And if I do, it's not really worth the repair everything that you got to deal with it. So, I mean, you know, it's a lot of work because you got to take everything apart and put that whole entire panel in. All right, but not a common issue. So, panels, base, back, protection door lock, panel side. See, all these panels are just not really that expensive. Um, I mean, it, it, it's not a common issue, so I don't really go over those. So, excuse me about that one. So, I'm just trying to look at a couple things. You have bracket and hinges, pin hinges, support connectors, damper, mass, vibration. So, I have to figure out what that is. That's 260, 275. That really stands out a lot. So, I just have to figure out what that is. That's number 61. All right. So, we can look at that, see what we got on here. See if we're able to find number 61. Because that's a really expensive part. 51 there. Um, I don't actually see it. Hopefully I can find it. I see 60. Oh, 61 is up here. Oh, okay. So that's the um, the weight, right? So it, there's cement sometimes in the machine to weigh it and balance it. That's 262.75? Jesus Christ. All right, whatever. It's not much there, but either way, plug, 14, 46, wire harness, 39, main harness, 123. All right, so you do have door hinges, uh, pin hinges and stuff like that, really cheap, not that expensive. All right, so let's see what else they might have. Let's go inside the motor because again, a lot of the issues, uh, let's look at it as far as the the motor here. Let me get into that. All right, so you got your drum. This drum here, again, like we stated where you put your clothes in, that has the um, lifetime warranty of the machine. The actual motor here, that has the 10-year warranty plus uh, just a part. So we're going to go through that so you'll be able to see it. All right, door boot seal, real common issue if you happen to need that, 9743. So when we're looking at this appliance, man, you're talking about a common issue that normally goes bad. It either leaks in the front or has a punctured hole in it or a developed mold. A lot of issues with it. So if you happen to need that, let's say the part 150, labor 150, we're talking about $300. Water spring, um, number 13, which is the, I'll have to figure out what number 13 is number 13 i'm just trying to figure out um, yeah i don't see number 13 here all right here the tub which is the front tub all right so that's 211 26 only reason that's an issue unless the drum that you put your clothes in is broken off and it starts to move forward and it rubs on the outer shell which is the front drum and rips it up but if you need that, it's 211.26. All right. The other drum is the rear, I think. That's number 16. Um, 
Number 16337. Alright, let me see what number 16 is. No, that's number 22. Um Oh yes, and so number all right, so look how much money they're saving you. 33711. So they they're saving you over 400 bucks. But if you happen to need that, right? Let's say that the part is 400. Labor is going to be at least 210 because there's um you need a helper for that. It's two guys to do it. It takes forever to do. So you're talking about at least $600 to replace that drum. They're saving you $337. So that's a good uh, warranty here. Let's look at the motor. If that's a common issue that normally goes bad, you're talking about $200 for the parts. So I'll say $250. Labor $150. You're talking about $400. But they're saving you $193. All right. So you want to keep that in mind as well. Drive pulley $37.98. That's all the stuff that's in the back here. All right. With the pulley. All right. You got the belt. You got the pulley, which is number 26. All right. So that's where we're on. All right, pulley number 26, 103.54. All right, um, not a common issue, but I've replaced one. Um, shock absorbers or the suspensions, 35.33. I'm saying it's $50 a piece. You're talking about $200. Labor, $150. You're talking about $350. All right, here goes the Frigidaire uh, main pump or the drain pump. Forgot all about the drain pump as well. That's $150. Labor, $150. You're talking about $300. All right, so coin trap or tub to pump so you're talking about 41 right that's probably um let me see just the the hose so that's just the hose um that's the the hose of the plastic it's not plastic but it's a rubber hose that connects from the drain pump to the actual machine man that's expensive but that little joint, 7823, okay, ain't bad. That's $100. Common issue because what happens is it punk there's a there's small holes that actually get punctured in it from stuff being left in customers' pockets in their clothes and in their pants and stuff like that. And it punctures a hole inside that gasket and then it's gonna leak. Real common issue. So you're talking about 150, 150, 300 bucks. Alright. Pressure switch holes, not a common issue. Clamp. Clamp pump, not a common issue there. All right, so when we're dealing with this appliance, man, heating element, not a common issue. They don't really break like that, but if you need it, it's 102.43. All right. Pump assembly recirculation, 74.75. That's if, I think, if you're buying it separately. Sometimes you can buy the drain pump a little bit separately from the pump, which is your drain pump here, 67. That's one and 35. So it has a recirculation pump. So there's two pumps. So the recirculation pump is the pump that does not normally go bad. Right? Here go right here. Because all it does is recirculate water back in. A lot of the times the issue that gives you the most problem is the drain pump because that drains all the water out. So that pump allows the water to travel through um, the drain pump. And then the drain pump gets clogged up or the filter's unclean, stuff like that. That happens. All right? So... But yeah, man, outside of that, you can see, man, not much else there as far as parts. It was difficult for us to find some of the parts. So that's why we went to this particular site because it has all the parts. Most of the parts are available. It's giving you an actual price that you can see how much it would cost you. But again, of course, we in the lab dissecting this appliance, man. We getting it in and we almost finished. All right, peace. All right, so now we're going to shoot our overall review. To let you know exactly how we feel about this Electrolux 4.5 cubic feet front load wash machine. All right, let me get my notes and we're going to start off with the warranty. Warranty, 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 the manufacturer warranty. All right, so for this particular unit, man, let's dive into the warranty that we have here from Electrolux. First of all, it's going to start off with your traditional or your standard one-year manufacturer warranty, both parts and labor. It also has a two-year warranty on the parts alone. Of course, you will have to pay for the labor yourself. So they're um, having the one-year manufacturer warranty and a two-year warranty. We like that. It also has a lifetime warranty on the inner tub. This is a common issue that normally goes bad with any appliance that you're dealing with, especially front load units. The tub tends to break no matter the brand. Um, we've replaced them just about all. GE, LG, Samsung, Whirlpool, we've replaced them all. Um, the drum itself 
is going to be a lifetime warranty. That part is over 300 and something bucks, so they're saving you like 400, 500 bucks there. It also has a 10 year warranty on the motor, just the parts alone. That part is over 200 bucks, so you're getting in savings at least between 600 and I would say between five and 600 dollars in savings, depending on the warranty um, that they have for the inner tub and for the 10 year warranty for the motor combined. All right, so we really like the warranty, man. Of course, you already know, we spoke highly of the warranty in the warranty portion of this video. Check that unit out. But we really, really, really love this appliance, man. So as far as our overall grade for the warranty, you know we gonna give it a five, man. Uno, Joe's, tres, cuatro, cinco. You know what I'm saying? A five, man. Electrolux, really impressed. Price, how much? It's gonna cost you. Might cost you a little, might cost you a lot. Either way, it's gonna cost you. Man, when you're talking about the price, depending on the color that you get for this particular unit, you have white and you have titanium. If you get your traditional white, we, we actually just round the number up. So roughly, you're gonna spend about $1,000 depending on where you get it from. Certain stores have it and certain stores don't have it. For the titanium, you're talking about 1,100 bucks when we round the unit up. So roughly, you're gonna spend between 1,000 and 1,100 bucks depending on taxes, depending on where you get it from. Um, of course, Electrolux, their website, this 600 series, and we forgot to mention that as well. Um, this is one of the top of the line or the highest series that they have. So when you're dealing with that type of appliance, it's gonna cost you that type of money. So as far as the grade that we're gonna give this joint is just about average how much you'll spend for a front loaded unit, depending on all the functions and all the features. And of course, we're gonna get into that, but we love the price on this unit because it's an average price. I mean, I ain't gonna say I love it. It's okay, it's average, so it's cool. So we'll give it about a three. All right, all not those plays. We give it a three, that's good. Man, let's talk about the parts. Man, how much cost per repair? All right, so from looking at this appliance, man, we was able to find a lot of the parts are available. Electrolux is made by Frigidaire or Frigidaire is made by Electrolux. Either way, they're the same company. So when you're dealing with one, you can deal with the other. They're the same company there. The Electrolux is just a higher brand for Frigidaire. So when you think about that as well, your control boards, it has like three or four control boards in here. So that's going to be the more expensive parts that I see if you happen to need those. The user interface board that you connect with and you press, that can be an issue from time to time. Your knob assembly that you turn that comes with a PC board as well. You have your main control board. That's another issue there, um, of course. So when you're looking on average, our labor for our example is $150. And of course we do a slight markup. If we need a helper, it's an additional $60. So our labor could change to 210 bucks. But just to say for the control, the user interface, and the knob assembly, on average, you're gonna spend 350 bucks. Like we stated before, the inner drum has a lifetime warranty on the part, they're saving you over 300 something bucks. Same thing for the motor, has a 10 year warranty on the part, so they're saving you over 200 bucks there. Your door boot seal or the great gasket that's around a lot of the front loaders that develop mold, sometimes get holes in it. It is a common issue, and of course, you wanna order the clamp as well. So the price and parts for both those, we're gonna say it's about 315 bucks. The suspensions on the wash machine, common issues where they can wear out your machine is a lot wobbly it's not as sturdy and balanced what it needs to be they can actually break as well and you can damage the machine if they're broken and, they're, and the machine is not stabilized you're talking about each of them is about $50 a piece, and if you need four, it's about 200. So you're talking about 350 bucks. Um, your drain pump comes in assembly where you can replace the drain pump. Pretty common issue for any appliance there. So that's why it's important. You gotta make sure you check what's inside your pockets, man. Make sure you get those things out before you actually start the laundry. You're talking about 300 bucks for that there. Your water valve, a common issue that allows water to come in from your home to enter into the machine, your hot water side or your cold water side, that comes as an assembly. You're talking about 300 hundred bucks there as well and it also has a coin trap all right so it's a rubber tubing that connects from the actual drum directly to the drain pump and what it does it does catches the change they do catch um, a lot of um, paper pins or clips that we might have in our in our pockets and stuff like that it doesn't catch it all but it does catch majority but there's times where that could be punctured um, that part is about 150 bucks the labor 150 so it's about 300 so on average we're talking about 270 dollars as far as the the parts and how much you're going to spend on average for this appliance 
that is pretty good for an appliance that's about a thousand dollars um to an 1100 bucks that is pretty reasonable all the parts are available as well and there's other parts that's a lot cheaper outside of the control and the main parts that you might need so our overall grade for this man we really like the parts because they're available we like really like the average price as well so we're going to add that up to about a four because we really like that man uno dos tres cuatro cuatro we like it now let's get to my favorite part the functions and the features. Man, when you're talking about an appliance that's fully loaded, this particular appliance is not a smart appliance, so you can't connect it to your Wi-Fi. You can't remote start it. I didn't see any of those features on there. We didn't discuss any of those at all. But when you're looking at this particular unit, it has an eco indicator or eco sensing cycle that you can use. Um, we like that. It also has a perfect steam set setting, right? That adds 20 minutes of tumbling in the steam setting so you can steam your clothes as well. So we really like that. They're saying that you're not necessarily gonna see steam inside of the machine when the machine is operated. That's normal if you don't see anything, but it does work and it is a steaming machine. It also has a reverse door. You can reverse the door from the left side or the right side, depending on how your laundry room is set. We like this feature that has a clean setting right a lot of the machines have a lot of the tub clean it's almost like mandatory now for you to have a machine that has the tub clean which is really good you want to make sure you clean at least once a month um, or the machine is going to remind you um, after 50 loads to let you know that hey your machine needs to be cleaned all right so keep that in mind it also has a sanitize cycle all right sanitize setting that clean 99.9% .9 of bacteria so we love that one of the things we also like about this appliance, the appliance as well, it has an oversudge protection. So your machine is gonna try multiple times to try to dilute a lot of the soap suds if the machine detects soap suds inside of your machine. And what happens is your machine is gonna give you a SUDS code inside of the machine with the remaining time that's left in the cycle between zero and 60 seconds, uh, 60 minutes. So it all depends on your machine and everything else, but it's gonna try to give it a real good effort to try to get the soap suds down. So it's going to add um, a lot of additional time. So it might add additional five minutes to each time it has to do it. So you want to keep that in mind, but it's going to let you know. So you want to make sure you get the soap that did, that has the HE logo for high efficiency. All right. So we like that. It also has a function to let you know if your hoses are in the reverse order, if it's connected to the hot water when it's supposed to be cold or when it's connected to cold water when it's supposed to be hot. Your machine is smart enough to detect that and let you know. It also has a 15 minute fast wash setting all right so you can wash your certain clothes i wouldn't say it's a regular standard load just a real light load for about 15 minutes all right um so you want to be able to do that as well it also has a door vent and one of the things that we like about this there's a small little indicator when you check out the functions and portion of function and features portion of the video we show you exactly where that nozzle is where you're able to turn it so that the door will lock and so the door will will deactivate itself and won't lock and there will be space in between the uh, the wash machine so the air could get in and your gasket won't develop mold all right so you want to think about that last but not least it also has a stain soak cycle right that will remove blood all these different stains that you can use all that is located in the owner's manual as well didn't want to forget that and the last thing it has a pod this is dispenser has a pod setting that you can actually put your pods in you can only put a maximum of two pods in each cycle of course but you want to make sure you select the pods so that the machine would know that you're using a pod instead of using the powder or liquid all right so that's one of the uniqueness of this machine that no one has for a front load machine that has the pod setting that we really really like i think that's different so that stands out so of course you already know we're giving it a five man uno dos tres cuatro cinco all right so let's go over all these grades warranty five price three parts four functions and features five overall grade when you ever add everything up you're talking about a 17 divided by four it is a 4.25 all right so as far as this appliance would we recommend this appliance if someone was to ask for a front load wash machine i would say honestly speaking i would i would i I'm not a huge fan of Electrolux appliances. Um, I just think that they're somewhat overrated, um, especially with being a high-end brand. I just think that it, it just looks a little bit generic in my opinion. But at the same time, for this particular appliance, it actually changed my mind when I really went into the lab and we dissected this appliance. 
I really feel confident in this appliance with the time that we put in to find out what can it do, the functions and features, the price, and we feel as though this is a good quality machine. And as far as us recommending this appliance, I'm gonna have to say, and I'm gonna have to say congratulations to Electrolux and Frigidaire because we really think that you guys did an awesome job when you created this appliance. And yes, we will recommend this appliance as well. Um, yeah, they changed my mind about it, man. So we really like it. Of course, you already know I'm your boy, Richie Rich at Consumer Prime Support. Come on, man. You help me. I help you. We both help each other. Till next time, I'm out of here, man. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace. Oh.